Today, I'm doing a speedrun challenge in Minecraft, but this time I can go from normal size to tiny. Good luck finding me now, Milo. Okay, Chip, are you ready to run? Because I'm feeling super confident that today is the day I finally stop you from winning. Oh, I'm glad you're feeling confident, Milo, because I have something to share with you. You are going to be hunting me down, but not like this. You are going to be hunting Mini-Me. What? Oh my gosh, how did you do that? I shrank down to a super tiny size, and the time starts now. Ah, get back here, little chip. How did you do that? It's not fair. <laughs> I'm going to hide from you, Milo. <gasps> I'm hiding somewhere in the farm. In the farm? Oh, yeah, I bet I can find you. I mean, break all these herbs. <laughs> I'll help you, Milo. Here I was, and now I'm going to run away again. Yeah. I'm so small. I even blend in with the flowers. Wait, yeah, you do. Hang on. Which one are you under? Are you under the dandelion or the puppy? Where did you go? Wow, I think I've lost Milo. This is so funny. But, okay, I need to get serious and get some supplies to beat the game. I think I'm going to start by going to another village far away from Milo and our houses. This way, if Milo dies, he won't be able to respawn and get me. All right, it's going to take a while for me to get to a new village with my tiny legs, but I think I can do it. Look, look, I found a village. That's perfect. Before I get there, though, I need to mine this tree. I need as many materials as my little hands can carry. Wow. Wow, look at the item. Once I break this log, it looks so big next to me. It's basically the size of an entire block in my height. That's crazy. I wonder how quickly we can mine this tree now that we're small. I think it might actually be a really normal speed. That is so lucky. I would not want to become a slow miner just because I'm tiny. Now that we have all these logs, let's make a crafting table. I need food. I'm running pretty low and I don't want to run out or be caught off guard when Milo gets here. Let's place down this crafting table and make a bunch of tools. First, let's make a sword. Yup, that's perfect. Now we can make some sticks so we can create a pickaxe. Pickaxes are very important, especially when you're so tiny. I'm also going to make a wooden hoe. Hoes are the tool of choice for when mining hay bales. And there are lots of hay bales in this village. They're a really, really handy food source. Look, there's a bunch right there. Let's go over to them and mine as many as we can. Hello, hay bales. Or should I say, hey, <laughs> this is so good. I'm going to mine every single one of these things. I've got six so far, but there's a bunch here. I'll be fed for days, and I wonder if being tiny means that I don't need as much food. That would be ideal. Now that I'm tiny, my ability to pick up blocks is nowhere near as good as it was before. I've got to get right up to the blocks in order to collect them. That's kind of embarrassing. I don't really like that at all. Hey, hay bales, I'm going to get these five hay bales over here, and then we're going to move on to trying to get some mobs. I hope my damage is the same now that I'm all small. Hmm, let's put it to the test. I'm going to grab my wooden sword and my wooden pickaxe and put them in my inventory. All right, let's open this gate. Although I'm so tiny, it's like I could almost go under it. Hey, cows, come here. Boom, boom. Okay, wait a second. Oh, I think I do a normal amount of damage, even though I'm so small. That's perfect. Oh, I'm going to grab all this leather and all this cow meat. That's perfect. I'm not going to hurt you, Mr. Villager. You can be safe and sound inside this cow pen. Okay, I've got a bunch of materials, and I even got some XP. Now, I'm going to start mining the sides of these houses. I'm so sorry, villagers. I really don't mean to be destroying your way of living right now, but I need this cobblestone. It's really important if I want to beat Milo and win the game. I need to be able to make a stone pickaxe and a stone sword. Okay, I think this is enough. Let's get crafting. I need a couple more sticks. I've almost run out already. Now, let's put down these cobblestones inside the grid like this. Boom, we've already got a cobblestone pickaxe. Now, I'm going to make a cobblestone sword so I'm super powerful. Whoa, looking good. <gasps> Hang on a second. I can even make a cobblestone axe. I have enough cobblestone to make it right now. And boom. Oh, yeah. I'm so powerful. I don't need these wooden tools anymore. Let's mine this crafting table with our new tiny super speed. I hear a chicken somewhere. Oh, hi, chicken. I wonder how big I am next to a chicken. Wait, I'm smaller than a chicken's egg. That's so funny. But thanks, chicken. I'm going to need your feathers if I want to craft arrows to defeat Milo. Let's grab as many feathers from as many chickens as we can. I've got three so far, but I see more chickens. Come here. Okay, four feathers is great. There's another chicken over there, though. I think I'm going to go get that one. Come here, chicken. Yeah. Hey, he 
didn't drop any feathers. That's so annoying. I can only craft four arrows? That's ridiculous. I need way more than four if I want to kill Milo, but uh oh, hang on a second. I just run out of hunger. Let's place down a crafting table and actually craft all our hay into wheat. Now that we've done that, we can craft all of it into bread. Let's see how many bread we can make. Okay. 57, that's a really good amount. Let's eat it up and regain all our hunger. Oh yeah. Actually, let's go looking through the houses in the village to see if there's any awesome loot inside the chests. I bet there's something great. I know this building has a brewing stand. Let's go inside. Hopefully this villager doesn't mind me taking his stand. Sorry, man. I'll return it later, I promise. After I beat the game, maybe there's something in these village houses up here. Like a chest or something cool. Hey there, champ. What? Milo, what are you doing here? I'm gonna get you once and for all. No way. I'm too tiny. You'll never catch me. I'm gonna get a hit on you soon, buddy. Get here. No, no way. You can't hit me because my hitbox is too small. Ow. I got you. What if I activate these trap doors to mess you up? Hey, stop it! I'm gonna get a hit on you, Chip! Come back here! Nope, I'm hiding in the flowers, and now I'm running through the sugar cane. Well, like a little mouse! Ha! <laughs> yeah, I kinda am like a little mouse. I'm even running through your feet, and you can't get me. I'm even gonna ring the bell, Milo. How do you like that? Stop it! Get out from behind there, Chip, you little freak! Hey, I'm not a freak! You're like a tiny little freak mouse! No, I'm not. I'm not a mouse at all. Haha, <laughs> I'm even running through your legs again. Stop it. Come here. No way. I won't come here, Milo. Ow. Oh, gosh. That did a lot of damage. What? <gasps> oh, my goodness. Milo, because I'm so small, if you hit me again, I'm going to die and lose the challenge. Yeah, that's right. And I'm going to win the challenge. And that's all I wanted. Wait a second. Where did you go? <laughs> okay, Milo has lost me. This gives me a really good opportunity to plan something that will totally ruin Milo. <gasps> Look, there's the Iron Golem. I have a great idea. I'm going to trick Milo into hitting the Iron Golem and making him real mad. Hey, Milo, I'm up here. Get back here. I want to win this speed run. No way. Hey, Milo, try and hit me. Don't you dare try and hide behind this Iron Golem ship. I'm going to get you. Come back here. Wait a second. Haha, <laughs> the Iron Golem got Milo. My amazing plan worked. Now I can get all of his stuff and continue trying to speedrun and beat the game. I'm gonna go and grab all of his armor. Let's equip every single one. Wow, he kind of got it worn out. But look, I've got a bunch of leather armor on. Tiny leather armor, that is. I can't believe this fits me. Now I'm gonna hit this Iron Golem to make it mad. I need to run away. I cannot have it chasing me, but wait a minute. What? It doesn't even attack me? Huh? Something's wrong. Wait a second. Is it because I'm so small he doesn't even want to get me? Whoa, that's pretty awesome. We can take him down sneakily without him even realizing we're taking him down. Oh yeah, he's cracking real good. It won't be much longer until we get our hands on his sweet, sweet iron. Whoa, look, iron ingots. Let's pick them up and we got five? That's huge. Let's use our oak planks to make a crafting table. Oh, this is awesome. Let's use our stone axe as well to mine a little bit more of this villager's house. We can pick up these logs and turn them into sticks. I wonder what I can craft with all this iron. Maybe even an iron pickaxe. Yeah, that's a great idea. I'm upgrading so fast. I'm gonna beat this game in no time. All right, I'm pretty far away from the village now and I'm running out of hunger. What can we do with this iron pickaxe? Hang on a second. I have a great idea. Let's dig down to try and find diamonds. Those will absolutely help us beat the game. Milo will have no way of getting diamonds faster than we can. And because I'm tiny, I think I might not even take as much fall damage. Tiny things fall way slower than regular things, so I'm basically like my own parachute. Hey, look, there's some copper. We don't actually need copper. Copper is not helpful for beating the game. And whoa, I was wrong about the fall damage. I just took a huge amount. This cave is massive, but hmm, it's not at diamond level, so I don't think we're going to find any diamonds. There is some iron in here, though. Let's grab the iron and then some coal to smelt it with. We even found a mine shaft. Maybe there's something handy inside one of these mine shaft chests. Let's grab all this iron to help us beat this game, and then we'll go investigate the secrets of this mine shaft. Whoa, we got so much raw iron. Nine whole nuggets. Now let's grab some coal to smelt it with. Otherwise, we just have raw iron, and that's not very handy at all. 
Whoa, there's so much coal here. All right, now that we have the coal, let's go see what's inside that minecart. I'm really excited to find out. And whoa, look, there's even more iron ingots and some bread. We don't need a name tag because I don't think we're gonna be running into any animals to name this challenge. Wait a second, where was the hole I just came down from? Oh, I think that's it. Let's continue digging down from there. I wanna line it up with the top hole so that we can find our way back out and continue beating the game once we find these diamonds. Look, there's dirt here. I didn't even know dirt spawned this far down. Hey, and gravel as well. That's gonna be really handy to get flint if we need to make a portal soon. I can feel the diamonds getting closer. I just know they are. I reckon pretty soon we'll be rolling in some sweet, sweet blue rocks. Look, we even reached Deep Slate. This is the level that diamonds spawn at. Let's be careful though. I know Deep Slate can be pretty scary and whoa. We found a cave at Deep Slate level. There's gotta be something awesome down here. I didn't find any diamonds down this way, but maybe there's one this way. There's iron here, first of all. Let's grab this as it's gonna become really handy if we need to craft more iron tools. Maybe there's something down here and whoa. Hang on a second. There's zombies down this cave. <gasps> oh gosh. Wait, hang on a second. I thought they'd try and attack me, but they just walked right past me. I'm so small, the zombies don't even see me. This is perfect, look, I can hide next to their legs. Now that I know the zombies aren't attacking me, I guess we can follow each other around while I look for diamonds. If Milo comes down that hole, the zombies are gonna scare him off, but they won't attack me. Maybe there's diamonds down this way, and whoa, bingo! There's diamonds right here, let's mine them. I hope we get a good amount of diamonds from here. Whoa, look, it just keeps going and going. I can make so many awesome things using these. Let's jump up to see how many diamonds we can collect. We don't want anyone or any zombie able to come and steal these items from us. Whoa, look, how many did we get? We got nine diamonds. That's enough to make a pickaxe. Let's make a diamond pickaxe right now before we get ambushed by zombies again. Diamond pickaxe is all done. Oh, this looks so awesome. Let me pick up my crafting table. I need to bring that with me. You cannot get wood down at this level, so it's important to keep everything I get. What else could be down here? Maybe more diamonds? Yeah, Chip, where are you? Oh no, Milo's here. Look, I can see him. Oh, Chip, I know you're somewhere in this cave. I can't wait to get you. Luckily, I'm tiny, so he can't find me. But wait a minute, Milo has iron armor. I completely forgot to upgrade my armor, even though I got all new iron and diamonds. Okay, um, we can play a game with him. Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe lead him somewhere dangerous. I just have to sneak around him like this. Hopefully I'm tiny so he won't see me. Hang on, do I hear some whispering? Oh, um, uh, I think Milo can hear us. Wait, I know exactly what game to play. Marco! Milo! Okay, it's working. We're leading Milo towards the zombies. Marco! Milo! You're getting warmer, Milo. This is great, the zombies are working. Uh, Marco, Milo, come on, keep coming over here. Milo, where are you, Chip? I can hardly see anything. <laughs> this is so good. Come on, Milo, Marco. Yes, wait, I gotta eat some food. Marco. Milo, Chip, I know you're in here somewhere. Yeah, I am, I'm just down this cave. <laughs> yeah, I totally was. And now Milo has been defeated. Look at all this awesome stuff he dropped. I need to clear out my own inventory to even be able to pick it all up. Let's get rid of my lousy wooden tools. I don't need these anymore. I've got amazing tools. I don't need the stone or iron ones either. Look, I have so many cool things. Let's pick up all of Milo's delicious pork chops. Wow, I got eight. And look, Milo even dropped his chest plate and his golden sword. This is awesome. Milo had so much cool stuff. I can't believe this zombie horde was enough to stop him. We're a powerhouse, totally indestructible. There's no way Milo will beat us. But now that I have all these things like armor and diamonds, I need to get to the nether in order to continue this challenge. Let's find our way to it before it's too late. I need to bridge up and out of this hole. I don't want to be stuck down here with all these zombies. Luckily, Milo dropped a bunch of cobblestone, so I'm gonna have absolutely no challenge getting up and out of here. I'm so glad that I dug a hole straight down. It makes it really easy to follow my trail of breadcrumbs. 
Speaking of breadcrumbs, I think I need a snack. Let me eat this bread real quick so I don't die of hunger. Oh, that feels really fulling. Bye, zombies. Thank you for letting me defeat Milo. I think we're almost at the surface. Look, there is that copper ore that I mined at the very start. Or at least mine past. That's right, we don't need copper ore. And boom, we're already at the very top. Now let's try and find a lava pool so we can make a nether portal. Oh, I can't find a lava pool anywhere. Wait a second, what's that over there? Oh, this is just my luck turning around. Look, a lava pool. It's already flowing as well, so it's super ready to be used. Hmm, I need to craft a bucket. Luckily, I have the perfect amount of iron ingots that we can use to make one. Um, I wonder where a water source would be. Being short makes it really hard to see over all this grass. Look, there's a river. Let's go all the way over to this river and grab as much water as we can. We need at least one bucket if we want to make this portal. And boom, let's grab that water and head up back to the lava pool. Let's make this thing into an awesome pile of obsidian. I can't wait to light this thing on fire and go to the nether. This is going to really help my goals of beating Milo at this. Wait a second, where's the lava pool? I think I've lost it, but never mind, I found it. It's over there. Ouch, I forgot that I was small. Grass is really hard to see over, and I still take a pretty big amount of fall damage. Let's block this section off here. Wow, building a portal as a small person is really hard. Okay, I've got to be super duper careful not to accidentally fall in the lava or accidentally mine underneath me. We just need to put the obsidian here and... Oh, of course we need an obsidian here. That's really important. And boom. Okay, now let's take this water bucket and move it a little bit upwards. Like right here, I think, is a great spot. Let's build a cobblestone wall so our water has somewhere to flow from. Yep, I think this is great. Perfect. And the water isn't even flowing out onto the lava. That's awesome. This means that the lava won't turn into obsidian before we can use it. Let's grab a bucket of it here and boom. And another bucket here. Oh yeah, this is going great. Come on, lava, get in my bucket. Okay, now that we've... Oh no, I fell into the lava. Oh, luckily I'm small, so it doesn't take very much water to rinse me off. Otherwise, I would have been in a big amount of trouble. Oh, that was scary. I do not want to accidentally fall into lava lava again. Let's mine up using this obsidian and boom. Oh no, I accidentally set myself on fire again. Oh, I'm so clumsy. But if we place a block here, then we'll be able to place a block of obsidian there. Okay, there's only a couple more blocks of obsidian that we need to place and then we're finally done with building this portal. We'll put one here and finally one there. Oh gosh, now the water's flooding everywhere. We accidentally turned all the lava into obsidian, but luckily we don't need it anymore. We have just enough obsidian to form an actual portal. Now, we just need to find a way to get flint. And would you look at that? The first thing that we mine turns into flint. That's a pretty lucky piece of gravel if you ask me. Let's make a flint and steel. And now we're going to light the portal and head on into the nether. Oh, thanks, Milo, for dropping these pork chops. They've been absolutely delicious. I wonder what could be on the other side. Wait a second. I thought I was going through the portal, but I'm so small, I fit between the gaps. Let's try that again and be a bit more careful this time. Whoa. We entered the nether in a soul sand valley biome. That's insane. And look, it's right next to a basalt delta. These are some of the most dangerous biomes in the entire nether dimension. And they're also some of the most awesomely filled with netherite. I think we should go try and mine some to see if we can get even more powerful than diamond. Getting netherite would really help us beat the game. And luckily, I only have to mine one block high to get through. I'm super speedy because I'm only one block tall. This is perfect. I bet there's a bunch of netherite this way. Come on, we sure have to find some. Hang on a minute, there's gold. Gold is an important ingredient for crafting netherite ingots from ancient debris. Let's mine all of this gold up. Yep, thank you very much. We're getting so many nuggets. And look, there's even more over here. Thank you, yes please. All right, now let's craft these nuggets into ingots and see exactly how many gold ingots we got. Each netherite ingot takes four to make. And wait a second, we got four gold ingots. That's a really good start. We're really on our way to getting some awesome netherite armor. Basalt deltas are kind of creepy though, but wait a second, look, it's ancient debris. That's perfect. 
Let's mine this thing. Wow, I did not realize ancient debris took so long to mine. Let's get it quick and wait a second, look! There's even more ancient debris around it. Yep, I think I read this somewhere. Ancient debris generates in clusters of three. It's true because it rhymes. And I don't know if it's just me, but I think ancient debris looks kind of like a cinnamon roll. Oh yeah, this is making me really hungry. I better mine a bunch more so I can leave the nether and go back to the overworld. Wow, there's so much basalt here. I wonder how long we can keep mining for. And hang on a second, there's more gold here. Let's grab all of this so we have a huge amount of nuggets to add to our crafting collection. How many do I have now? 34? Eh, that's not very many, but you know what? We don't need that many, just enough to make an entire set of netherite armor, but hey, that gold nugget just fell into the lava. Oh, I'm so sad, but oh, never mind. I'm cheered up again. Look, this ancient debris is always enough to make me feel super duper happy. Let's mine this up and hmm, is there any connected to it this time? Wait a second, I think this one might have been a single vein. That's really interesting. Aw, oh, dang it. I really wish that one had multiple ancient debris inside. You know what? Maybe the next ancient debris we find will. I bet it's gonna be a string of three or maybe even four. <gasps> Look, there's already two ancient debris here. Okay, let's mine these ones and see if there are any other ancient debris connected to them. I really hope that there are. And what do you know? Look at that. There's one right underground. Maybe there's a fourth one here and no there was only three no you know what i'm not gonna get in my head about it three is a really good number of ancient debris oh yeah i wonder how many we have so far <gasps> we already have seven that's almost enough to craft two netherite ingots let's keep mining i bet we're gonna find so much more come on ancient debris come out come out wherever you are look oh, wow there was one underneath us i don't think we've found one underneath us so far all right come here and look there's even more connected to it this might be the most lucky part of the nether I think I've ever found. Yup, we'll mine you up and hey, there was no other ancient debris connected to those ones. Nope, you know what? I'm still pretty happy. I guess we don't really need quartz. Sorry, Minecraft. I only need ancient debris and gold right now. That's what's going to help me defeat Milo. Hmm, I think there might be more in this direction. We're going to keep going and see just how much ancient debris we can really find. We must be at a really good level for ancient debris because we keep finding so much just like this. Hello, jackpot. I'm going to mine all of you up and keep you inside my inventory to craft a bunch of awesome netherite ingots. Milo probably doesn't even have diamond, let alone netherite. We're gonna be so stacked, he probably won't even be able to compete. That will be really handy in helping us beat the game. Wow, this ancient debris is awesome. I'm having a real stroke of luck and a stroke of genius. Getting ancient debris is one of the best ideas I think I've ever had. It's really gonna put us ahead in this speed runner versus hunter challenge. I think we're gonna totally beat Milo. Being tiny has also really helped as well. It's made us be able to mine Mine twice as fast as a normal person would. See how we only have to mine one block in order to go through? Normal people like Milo would have to mine two blocks. That's really inefficient. And look, here's a bunch of gold. This is so awesome. Let's mine it all up and get super duper rich. Now I'm gonna make all of these nuggets into ingots. And we got six new ingots. That's amazing. If we find a couple more pieces of gold, we'll be done. But wait a second, look, I have raw gold in my inventory. This is perfect. We can actually make a furnace and smelt that into real gold ingots. This is perfect. Let's place the furnace right down here. I think that's an awesome spot. Now we'll put two pieces of raw gold inside and one piece of coal. Yep, I think that's a great idea. Look at it smelting. We're almost gonna be totally rich. Once we do have this gold though, we need to smelt the ancient debris. Maybe I should make another furnace. Yeah, that's a great idea. Now we have two furnaces to start smelting twice as quickly. Hey, Netherrack, I don't need you at the moment. Let's put all of our ancient debris inside this furnace. It is now smelting, and once it finishes smelting, we will be able to take from the smelter an amazing piece of metal technology, the netherite scrap. Just four of these puppies is enough to combine into an awesome netherite ingot. Let's actually split the ancient debris across both furnaces so it can smelt twice as quick. I think this is a genius master plan by me. 
look, we already have two netherite scraps from this furnace and one more netherite scrap from this one. Now we can already craft a netherite ingot. Let's place four golds in a pattern like this. You can do any shape, but I think this one looks awesome. <gasps> All right, we're about to craft a netherite ingot. This is gonna be so awesome. And boom, we now have a netherite ingot. And look, there's already three netherite scraps in here two netherite scraps in here and one more on the way. Let's craft another piece of ancient debris. This time I'm gonna make two L shapes like this. Boom, we've got two netherite ingots. Now let's grab our final netherite scraps and craft the final one. I'm so relieved. We have just enough to make some awesome looking netherite. How many pieces of armor do I have? Okay, I have one, two, three pieces of diamond armor. Only diamond armor can be combined with netherite to make netherite armor. But wait a second, first we need a smithing table. Hey look, it's a downward staircase. Ouch, I should not have jumped down that. That was a pretty risky decision. Uh, I don't see any blaze spawners still. This is getting pretty annoying. Uh, I don't have much time. What if Milo manages to get to the end before us? Actually, I think we might be good. Milo can't be the one to defeat the Ender Dragon. The the only way he can win this game is by killing me, and we're not gonna let him do that. We're far away in the nether, and hopefully he won't find us here. Uh, you know what else is not being found here? A blaze spawner. There's gotta be one at the end of this hallway, right? Alright, I think it's promising. Hopefully there's one around this corner? No. Maybe this corner? What? How are there no blaze spawners? Maybe Milo's already been here and he's gotten rid of all of them? Oh, that would be so annoying. I guess it is technically allowed in the rules, but I do not want Milo to do that. That would suck. Let's mine our way out of here and see if we can look at the fortress from another angle to try and find one. Hey, we're on the roof of the nether fortress. This is cool. Surely now we'll have a really good idea of where a blaze spawner is. Look. This type of nether fortress balcony extends that way. Let's try and climb these stairs and get up there to try and find a blaze spawner. I think that's definitely where they would spawn. If I was a blaze, that's where I'd build my home. Okay, we'll mine up here and we don't need to mine that fence because we're only one block tall. Okay, let's jump over here and all right, I'm thinking this area looks pretty promising. <gasps> Look over there. That's the structure that the blaze spawner goes in. Okay, let's mine through this nether brick and try and make our way over there. This lava is not making it easy for me though. I'm pretty tiny, don't you know? I can't be affording to jump over all this stuff. I lose hunger way quicker than a normal sized person. Right, let's eat this bread and heal up before we take on these blaze. I just need to mine up into the bridge and we can make our way over. Hey blaze, wait a second, why aren't they burning? I thought blaze normally burnt when they attacked you. Um, do the blaze even see me at all? I don't think they do. They're walking right past me. That must be because I'm still so tiny. Now let's take them out using our newfound hiding powers. Ugh, I didn't get any blaze rods from that. Maybe I'll get it from this one? Come here, blaze. Yeah, that's right. And look, we even got our first blaze rod into fire. That's right. That's the achievement you get when you defeat a blaze and get a rod. And whoa, he jump scared me. I did not expect him to come out of nowhere. Come on, blaze. I'm going to take you down. And what? He didn't drop another blaze rod. That's so annoying. Hang on a second. I think earlier while I was bridging over here, I saw another blaze spawner. Let's check if the blazes from this one have any better luck. Hey, blaze. I'm ready to take you down. Oh, look. Ouch. I fell. That was embarrassing. Come on, Blaze. I'm going to take you down and you don't even notice. My soft hits must be so small that they aim with surgical precision, even though I'm wielding a massive axe. And look, we even got a Blaze Rod. I'm so talented at this stuff. Come on, two for one. Let's go. And we got another. We've got three Blaze Rods. That's halfway of the six that we need. Although I think I will get a seventh one, just to be sure. We do not want to be caught out by having 12 Eyes of Ender and then accidentally having one explode on us. That would be so embarrassing. Hey, Blaze, are you ready to be taken down? Yeah, I think they are. Oh, that guy didn't drop a rod. That's so annoying. Let's mine our way into this fortress. I think we need a super efficient system of getting as many Blaze as we can because these ones are not dropping many Blaze rods at all. I guess they must have made them even rarer to make beating the game super duper hard. That is not what I need right now, being so tiny already. Come on, Blaze, I'm here to take you down. Hey, look, I got one from that guy. I only need three more 
blaze rods. Come on, please. Why aren't these guys dropping any? These blaze are really selfish. Come on. I just want to take your rods. <gasps> Look, we only need two more because we now have five blaze rods. Let's go check the first blaze spawner to see if there's anything there. I wonder what Milo's doing. He's off on a vacation somewhere, probably. It's like he's forgotten that he's even hunting me. Well, I have not forgotten the speedrunning part of this challenge. That
Get back here. Come on. These guys are running away. I don't think they see me, but they know something tiny is in the grass, taking them down to get their pearls. And wait a minute. Speaking of tiny in the grass, why are these Endermen short? That's so funny. Come on, Endermen. I'm going to take you down. Hey, these short ones aren't dropping pearls either. I guess being short means there's less of you to drop pearls from. That's good to know in case I ever want to become a short Enderman. I don't think I do, though, because if I did, I would be the victim of Chip Master Ender Pearl Collector. Come here. I already have 11. I only need three more. Wow, these Endermen can climb up blocks really quick. <gasps> Look, we only need need two more now that I have 12. Come here, Enderman. Give me your pearls. All right, we have 13. That's an unlucky number. So we just need one more and then we're absolutely good to go. Good to go down into the stronghold, that is. Come on, Enderman. And what? He didn't drop anything. Please. Oh, luckily there's one more Enderman over here that might drop a pearl. Come on, please. Oh, have I run out of every Enderman that could potentially drop a pearl? It's like all these ones are dropping nothing. Come on, you're lucky, right? No. Oh, goodness, oh, goodness. Maybe you? Please, don't leave me hanging like this wait a minute have I overfished the Enderman population that would suck that would be impossible to speed run the game and wait a second no we have not because here is an ender pearl we now have 14 ender pearls and seven blaze rods now let's get to flat ground so we can craft some ender eyes and use them to find our way to the stronghold oof I dropped and jumped all the way down and took some damage now that we're at a flat area, let's craft a bunch of blaze powder and immediately make 14 eyes of enders.
Yikes, I do not want to climb. I'm too short for that, but oh, hang on a second. Look, we found the end portal room. Look, there's the signature silverfish spawner. I really hope none appear because we need to get going on placing in these eyes of enders. Look how big they are. They're actually bigger than me. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever been smaller than an eye of ender before. How am I holding so many when I'm so tiny? I have so many questions. Now let's place in these eyes of enders in the frame and now we get to place the final one. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm almost done building this end portal and boom, we've officially finished building it. I can't wait to go in this thing in three, two, one. Wow, wow, wow. Look who it is. What, Milo? Why are you here? I'm here to kill you before you can get the ender dragon. No, no way. Oh gosh, uh, I've got to run through this stronghold maze. Maybe go up the stairs. Yeah, that'll show him. Come here. Chip, this is your last chance. I'm gonna get you. Hey, how'd you get in that door? I opened the button, Milo, and now you're not gonna be able to follow me. Hmm, what? I can hide in this jail cell. No, there's no button there. Maybe there's a button somewhere here. No, there's none for this one either. Oh gosh, hey, where can I'm I go? Through. Oh gosh, ah, uh, run away. Chip, I'm gonna get you. Come back. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, I can tunnel through this because I'm sure Milo won't be able to follow me. Bye-bye, Milo. What? Hey, you're so sneaky. Come back here. No way. Oh, yeah, this is so cool. I'm so speedy. I'm going to make my way back, but oh, gosh, hang on. If I go back there, Milo's just going to come running right after me. I need to find a better solution. Hey, Milo, come here. Chip, I'm going to catch you. You have no idea what you're in for. I think I do. Okay, I'm gonna mine through here and try to lead Milo into the library room. Come back! Why are you running so fast? Your little legs can't carry you much longer. Uh, yeah, I think they can. Look, the silverfish are attacking you, Milo. Oh no! I hate silverfish! Get away from me! I'm gonna place a cobweb block that's the height that you're at, so I can run through the door safely, but you won't be able to. Yeah, nice prank, Bozo. Didn't work, cause I'm what? How are you through? Now I'm gonna get you. You can put down all the cobwebs you want. Oh no, I'm stuck in my own cobweb. I guess when you're the size of a little bug, those cobwebs are really deadly. I co oh, I'm stuck in the cobweb. Dang it. Huh, perfect. I'm gonna take you down. Are my fists doing much damage? You might have gotten some hits in, little guy, but you forget that I'm bigger and I'm stronger. Oh gosh, ow, that did so much damage. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm stuck in a cobweb. Ugh, I've got to eat and run at the same time. Milo's taken so much of my health away. Quick, back through the tunnels. I'm gonna take more. You better keep running. Oh, no. Oh, no. Which way was the stronghold portal again? Oh, it was here. Ugh, get out of here, silverfish spawner. I don't like you at all. Oh, no. Milo. Back it up. Ugh, okay, okay. Just please don't hurt me. I need to finish this game. Keep on backing up, Chip, because I've got to show you. Uh, Milo, I can't go any further. What is it? I have a really fun little surprise for you. I'm gonna make a break for it. Oh, get back here. Stop right where you are, okay? I've got a nice little surprise for you. Wait, what? Hey, what? Why can't I move? That's right. You're trapped in glass, you freak. I really got you. Hey, this is embarrassing. What? Milo, I can't go left, right, up, or down. Hey, I broke some of the glass. That means whatever you've done here isn't fully foolproof. Nope, you're still trapped forever, and I'm gonna get you. Huh? I can't figure out how to get out of here. What? You're so dumb, Chip. I didn't leave a way for you to get out of there because I'm a genius. What's your plan with this, Milo? You can't just keep me trapped forever. How? You can't get in here, and even if you try, I'll just escape. What could you possibly use to kill me? I'm gonna use lava, which I'm gonna fill in the little box with. All right, you stay right there. I'm gonna go get some lava. Oh gosh, okay, um, think, Chip, think. How do we get out of this? We can't go this way, this way, or any of the other ways. There's gotta be a way we haven't thought yet. We can't use flint and steel or an ax, but hang on a second. We have not tried to get out by going down. 
All right, this is really risky, but I'm gonna try mining down. Maybe Milo didn't think to place glass under me. <gasps> it worked. Okay, if we just mine this way, we'll eventually be able to get to the portal. Okay, let's run and get there before Milo comes back to get us. Okay, we're about to go into the end in three, two, one. Wow. The end is massive. I can't believe we're finally here. Okay, we need a way out of this. Uh, let's build up using the cobblestone. I hope the dragon doesn't attack me. Let's go try and get all of these end crystals before Milo realizes we've escaped and comes to try and get us. Hey, Endermen, I'm gonna take down your leader. But wait a second, I don't have a bow or arrows. Let me see if I have anything I can craft them out of. First, we'll need a crafting table because every crafting recipe needs it. Okay, now let's see. Um, to get a bow, we need three sticks, which we have, and we need string. We don't have any string, but we do have cobwebs. Let's place down this cobweb, and we need a sword to break it into string. Luckily, that's exactly what we have. Come on, please drop string. Boom, how many string did we get? Okay, we got three. That's perfect. That is exactly how much string we need in order to make this bow. Let's place them down. Wait a minute, why can't I craft this bow? Maybe I'm doing it wrong? Oh gosh, wait a second. No, I know exactly what I'm doing wrong. I was using the shape wrong. Okay, we've now got a bow. Now we just need arrows. Um, okay, we need feathers, which we have. We also need sticks. I'm gonna craft four of them, and now we just need four pieces of flint. Luckily, we have eight gravel blocks. Let's mine these quickly. I hope the dragon doesn't find me, although I'm pretty tiny. Look, we already got one piece of flint. We only need three more. I'm really tiny, so maybe the dragon won't see me. I mean, although the wither did see me pretty easily, and the wither is also a boss. Maybe bosses are so powerful they see me even though I'm really tiny. <gasps> Look, we got another piece of flint. We already have three. We literally only need one more, and boom! We officially have enough flint, sticks, and feathers in order to make a bunch of arrows for our bow. What? Wait, why is this not working? Come on, please. Okay, the arrows are now made. Let's use them so so wisely so we don't run out. And luckily, we have lots of blocks to build up to the towers with. All right, I'm actually liking our chances of winning this thing. First, we're gonna try and get this tower. Luckily, the dragon isn't targeting me, I don't think, because I'm so tiny. Hopefully, he does target Milo when he comes, though. That would be so funny and really handy for us. Okay, we're almost at the top, and boom, we defeated that end crystal. Uh-oh, the dragon is targeting us. Let's not let ourselves die, though. Let's carefully get down using our water bucket and boom okay my range is less than it normally would be but i was still able to water bucket clutch i really am good at speed running now let's speed run getting as many of these other towers as we can i'm also going to keep this boat in my inventory it's going to be very handy for jumping down in an emergency especially if our water bucket runs out for whatever reason all right come on come on let's get up here and then activate this end crystal or should i say attactivate yep that's right we destroyed it and look we're so tiny, we can even go in this gap in the iron fence. All right, now that we're up at a really high position, let's shoot down these end crystals. Oh no, I accidentally launched one arrow incorrectly. Luckily, my second one totally hit right on the bullseye. All right, while the dragon is distracted, let's bridge over and try to get up. Oh gosh, no, don't let the dragon attack us, please. I'm too tiny to fight back. Oh gosh, I almost fell down. Now that the dragon's focusing on that end crystal, let's keep trying to bridge over so we can get it. Actually, wait, I can shoot it from here. Boom, we got it. Now, can we get this one? I really hope we can. Oh no, we just missed. We can't afford to miss many more. Luckily, we hit that one right on our second go. All right, there's another end crystal over there. We don't have many arrows left, so we've still got to be really careful. Oh no, I missed that one. I don't think I'm going to have many goes left. I only have nine arrows and... Uh-oh, I heard a fireball noise. The dragon's coming to get me. Hey, leave me alone, dragon. I can't believe it's able to see me, even though I'm so tiny. All right, I'm going to jump down using my boat. Come on, come on. I need to place this wisely. Let's get inside. I still look so tiny next to it. Okay, now that we've done that, let's pick up our boat and keep trying to mine the rest of these end crystals. Okay, the dragon is perched, but oh my goodness, it's attacking its own army of endermen? What a ridiculous dragon. Oh, it's a really evil overlord and we need to take it down quick before Milo gets here. All right, all right, we're really close to this end crystal and boom, we defeated it. There's only a couple more. 
Let's take down this one from here. Okay, the dragon blocked us from attacking that end crystal. That's kind of crazy. Oh gosh, I'm missing so many shots. Luckily, that one hit. We've only got five arrows left and we still have two end crystals we need to destroy. We've got to have a really good accuracy rating. That's why I'm going to bridge up the tower using water. Water is one of the fastest methods of bridging in the entire game. All right, all right, all right. Now that I've done that, I'm going to continue bridging quick. Let's go. I do not want the dragon to come and knock me off. Even though we are using water, the dragon can still get us by launching us far away. That will leave us only with a boat to boat clutch, which is not as efficient as a water clutch. Okay, come on water buckets. You've taken me this far. You can take me a little bit further. I'm almost at the very, very top. Now I can start bridging using this dirt. Oh gosh, oh no, I did it. I managed to boat clutch and look, the Enderman even came in as well. I think I'll let him keep the boat. I do not need it right now because I'm gonna continue swimming up this waterfall. Oh wow, I'm still so tiny. This waterfall looks massive next to me. All right, I need to be so careful because if the dragon shoots me up again, I do not have another emergency boat I can use. Come on, come on, bridge up using water. We're only a couple blocks away from the very top now. Oh gosh. The dragon's here. Don't shoot me off. Please, dragon. I need to do this to defeat Milo. Surely you understand, right? Okay, now that I'm here, let's break the end crystal and boom, we did it. Let's pick up the water. I do not want to be caught off guard again. Oh gosh. Wow. Luckily, we landed in our own water and let's swim up the waterfall to try and shoot down the end crystal. Come on, come on. The water's receding. Let's get up to this cobblestone block before it fully goes away. All right, we're so close to the top. Let's bridge up using our final few blocks that we have left. Let's use our basalt. We got all that from mining in the nether. That's really handy. Now let's destroy this end crystal. Oh gosh, I missed. I don't have many shots left. Oh goodness, please make it, please. Okay, I did it. I've now defeated every single one of the ender dragon's end crystals. Now it's time to start taking on the dragon. Look, the dragon is perched. Let's water bucket clutch down and try and take him on. Yep, that totally worked. I'm an expert speedrunner. Hey, dragon, come here. Whoa, I just heard a crazy roaring noise. That was really scary. Come on, dragon, get over here. I'm gonna take you down. Hey, dragon, come back here. I don't have many arrows, but the ones I do have, I'm gonna take you down with. No, you are not, Chip. I'm gonna get you. Milo, where are you? Right in front of you. Whoa, when did you get that armor? And hey, what potion effects do you have? I've got slow falling. I'm gonna get you with my epic potions and enchants. Oh gosh, there's no way I can take you down. You're crazy and whoa, the dragon is doing some crazy roaring right now. Oh gosh, how can I get to him if you're defending him? Don't you go anywhere near that dragon ship. You don't have a chance. Oh, I'm still tiny, but oh, I don't know if that's enough anymore. Oh, please, please, please. Okay, Chip, you know what? I didn't want to have to use it, but I've got something very fun. Come on, dragon, let me take you down, please. The dragon keeps knocking me away whenever I try and get you. Yeah, that's good. My tininess is coming in real handy, but once the dragon flies away, it's not going to be very useful anymore. I'm going to actually have to, uh-oh, run. <laughs> Oh gosh, okay, Milo's trying to chase me. I better tunnel down into the end stone while he's away. Don't you dare tunnel down like that. Hang on, where did you go? I didn't see which block you buried under. Ah, uh, well, I'm somewhere here, Milo. I guess you'll just have to spend all day looking for me while I eventually escape and go get the dragon. I don't need to spend all day because I got a little something, something here. Ready? Um, um, what did you just place? Oh no! What? Oh gosh, it exposed my hole! No, no, no! I need to keep digging away! Hey, who's punching me? Chip? Oh wait, it's the Enderman! Oh no, Milo, you're not letting more TNT, are you? Yeah, because the Endermen are trying to kill me now! Get away from me, Enderman! Oh gosh, what am I gonna do? I need a way to get out of here and defeat the Ender Dragon! Okay, I think I figured out exactly what I'm gonna do. While Milo's busy fighting off those Endermen, I'm gonna wait for the dragon to come back down and then I'm gonna chip away at his health. Pun intended. All right, I got all the Endermen. Now it's back to you, Chip. Where are you? I'm gonna place Endstone, Milo, so you have to lose me in them. No, I've got really cool jumping skills. I'm gonna jump right over you, Endstone. Well, can you jump over the dragon breath? Because I can hide underneath it. Ouch. 
I've got immunity because I'm short enough to fit underneath it. This is perfect. And hey, are you lighting the ground on fire to try and get me? Yep, I'm gonna burn you up, little guy. Oh, don't call me little guy. Hey, I'm gonna get you, Chip, if it's the last thing I do. Yeah, it will be the last thing you do at this rate, Milo, because I'm taking down the dragon. Milo, that Enderman is attacking you. You better watch out. You're too big for your own boots. I'm not too big for my own boots. They fit perfectly. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, well, you're a giant to me, so I can't really tell. Stay back. Stay back. Hey, stop hitting me with your stupid equipment. I got some really cool stuff that I'm going to use. Ow, ow. It's burning me, Milo. That's right. I'm going to get you one final hit. No, 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 no. Oh, gosh, that did so much damage. Milo, stop, please. I can't handle this anymore. Uh, I need to end a pearl away so I have time to think on what I can do. Yeah, you better get out of here. You're not beating this game. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Mm, I've been tiny this whole time, and it's just made this game pretty hard. Although I guess mobs haven't attacked me, but that's not very helpful now. The Ender Dragon is in full swing trying to take me down. There's got to be something I can do. Hang on a second. If I've been normal size before, and I've been tiny before, I think there's one size that I've been missing. It's time to use my slash slash giant command to make myself huge and take out the Ender Dragon. All right, I really hope this thing works. And whoa, I'm massive. I even have so many hearts. Look, I can run all the way over all this end stone. Hey, Milo, look how tall I am. I'm just massive, and now I can take on the Ender Dragon. I'm so powerful. Ah! Boom! I did it in one hit. That's how powerful I am. That's not fair. I'm still going to kill you, Bozo. Hey, not so fast, Milo. Bye. Enjoy losing the speedrunning challenge. Ah! Hooray! I've won!